morning, everybody. Yes, that's Catman sitting on his perch looking out the window. I don't know what that was. <laughs> it's a house across the street. Um, anyhow, I'm sitting here trying to recuperate from that C virus. That's how come I haven't been on. I do have some things over there to show if anybody wants to see them. Um, my husband and I both have it, but he got over his symptoms really quick. Me? No. <laughs> well, I got over the sore throat. I never really had a fever. And uh, I just feel tired and ready and stuffy nose and coughing. Uh, that, did I say C virus? Oh, if I did, it's the forgetfulness that comes along with it. Um, let's see what else. I just feel tired a lot. Anyhow, sneezing. Oh my gosh. And oh, my nose is so hurting from sneezing and blowing it. But anyhow, I plan to get back on and show you and share with you some things. I don't know how people, I don't go into stores hardly at all. And I don't know how people go into stores, go around people without masks and not get this. I don't do any of that. And I have, oh, I've had two shots and a booster. My daughter, she drank after this, after me that night. We were drinking. <laughs> I took a drink of a root beer. What was my root beer? And I gave it to her. And I just wanted it, uh, to wash something down. And she hasn't got it. That's weird. Anyhow, my husband, he probably got it from work. They don't really practice the six-foot rule anymore. Uh, they should. And because it's going around again. And anyhow, this right here, this is ridiculous. Um, I mean, it helps uh, you to get over and keep supposedly, you know, help people, especially people with uh, who are older and who have things like COPD. Are you looking at us? <laughs> the minute I put the camera on him, he looks away. Anyhow, so it was very hard to get this. It was very hard to get it from my doctor because he wants me to get a kidney blood test. A metabolic blood panel. And I promised him I would, and I'll get it by Saturday if I feel good. I feel, I don't feel that great. So I'm not going to go out. But, um, anyhow, this right here used to be free. Uh, two years ago, when I had, had the C thing, the virus, um, they just gave it to me. It was free. It was, I guess, a government program or something. I don't know what it was. But now, I had to go online to whoever makes it. Pfizer, I think. Oops. I had to go online. And, uh, <laughs> that's upside down. And fill out some information and you don't even really feel up oh, they just ask you how much money you make uh, uh there he is okay <laughs> another bus or something went by um i had to fill out a few questions and everything like that and then they sent me a card what looked like a card in my email and I could download it and uh but if I didn't 
this would cause to be in insurance companies don't all insurance companies do not pay for this medicaid don't pay for it um medicare doesn't pay for it but this right here before the card came up to seventeen hundred dollars one thousand seven hundred dollars that is ridiculous it was free after my husband showed him that card that they mailed me. What you do is you take three of these a day for five days. You take Really, actually, this is how many you take today. You take one in the morning and one at night. And you do that for five days. That's $1,700. That's ridiculous. These drug companies in the United States. The United States ought to be ashamed of itself for not having medic medical care for their people anyhow, let alone. And I don't want to hear about insurance because insurance is ridiculously high. And so was Medicaid, Medicare, all of it needs to get rid of it. I see people on, um, yeah, that was probably the cheapest. Probably could have gone somewhere else and paid more or paid less, a little bit less. But yeah, Paxlovid, $1,700, $1,000. Who could afford that? Um... I guess we got to be rich. Anyhow, so, I don't know. It's supposed to rain today. Good. I'm ready for the rain. I'm tired of the hot weather already. I do not like hot weather. I like it in the 60s. And rainy. <laughs> Especially when I'm feeling yucky. Um... So that's my day. Watching TV. I haven't even been... I'm not unpacked all the way. Over there is all the stuff that goes on my walls and things that need to be put away. Uh, last night, we were sitting here. And the neighbors. Okay, neighbor. <laughs> it's a guy. And excuse me, I gotta blow my nose. I'm sorry, but... I have to. Anyhow, the neighbors, I was sitting here watching TV and he has an ex-wife, I guess. Oh my gosh. She, the landlords took her off the lease and put a restraining order against her. I don't know what the deal is, but she was over there and uh, there we have a garage that we share with them. So we hear the garage door going up and down. And, um, boy, I'll tell you what. Um, they were screaming and yelling. And she was really screaming and yelling and banging on something. I mean, it was really loud. It's not like she had a hammer and was hitting something with it. But, uh, really hard. And I heard him say something about her breaking his door, or her, I don't know. And uh, the landlords have been asking us if she's been over here, and she has quite a bit in the garage. She'll park her car in the garage and shut the door. And um, anyhow, oh boy, it was a mess. They were both screaming really loud. And so my husband texts the landlords. I don't know. I should have just called the police. And they said she's not going to be over here anymore. I, don't, I didn't think she was supposed to be here anyhow. But uh, yeah, it was a mess. I don't know what she broke or anything, but uh, he don't talk to us. He doesn't say anything. I don't know what his deal is. We've never done anything to him. Um, never really talked to him or anything like that because they're always out there arguing and screaming. Anyhow, supposedly they have five kids. I've never seen kids. So, I don't know. 
Oh, I gotta go get that blood test. Kidney for my kidneys for this medicine. They didn't used to ask that, but now they do. So, yeah, let's see what else. Not a whole lot else going on here. I guess my daughter got a job. She'll be starting next week. Um, I'm ready for summer to be over with. I'm so tired of this 91 degree heat, 92, 93. And the thing about it is it's humid hair. And I hate it. And so, yeah. I don't want anything to do with that. And, uh, other than that, I'm waiting. Everything's late this month. <laughs> My, um, uh, what is it? Ice cream is sitting down there waiting to be done. I did get a few things from Taboo. Not much to really do a video on. I just got this, this really pretty bracelet. And a shirt. It has points, so, or credit, or whatever. So I got it spent. And I got this in the mail yesterday. I just thought it was really pretty. It's magnetic. Anyhow, I will not keep any of you any longer. I haven't even got my glasses on. 11 minutes and 45 seconds. <laughs> sure you don't want to keep on listening to me for that. Um, I will be back on with my ice cream and things like that as soon as I start feeling a little bit better. Um, you guys have a great day. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I'm trying to get up to a thousand. And if you could help me do that, I would really appreciate it. I'm only like... I haven't looked, but last time I was only like 40-some subscribers away from that. So, please help me uh, do that, and I'd really appreciate it. Okay, you guys, you have a great day, and please like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you. Bye.